Okay, this is what I'm going to call the super cap visible motor. And uh, <clears throat> I've uh, taken the rotor out of a 12 volt uh, DC motor and mounted it on this little structure. And I have a little circuit board, prototype board, with some uh, super caps and a coil and some LEDs and an on off switch. And I've preloaded these super caps with uh, about 3 volts from a battery. And this is the circuit that I've got set up here. And uh, the reason for the coil and the LEDs is I was help, having trouble getting an indicator light that I liked off of this setup. So I put a coil in there to drop the current down a little bit because it was 2 ohms of resistance. And then by putting the LEDs basically backwards uh, on the flyback, I can get them to light up. And um, <clears throat> the reason for this project is I'm studying these things again. These are DC motor circuits. Uh, going way back to my youth, really, on these uh, motors, and specifically this one that is a series wound coil one, what they call a universal motor. And uh, there's a reason I'm, I'm looking into this, and it has to do with something that happened on one of the electronics forums that I, I follow. Anyway, let me turn this on and show you how it works. It's all loaded up. I'll just flip the switch here, and off she goes. Now you notice I've only got one field magnet there. If I add the other field magnet here, it helps it quite a bit. So anyway, that's my little uh, display for today. It's a uh, just a regular DC permanent magnet motor running on energy stored in a super cap, a couple of super caps and some LEDs for the indicator. And uh, this was also to show that if you take the uh, other field magnet and put it on there, you increase the performance considerably. Anyway, that's the show for today. Thanks for watching, guys.